Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel where we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we'll have a look at Garmin LTD traded at Nasdaq, ticker name GRMN. Before we start the analysis, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, then you will not miss also other videos that will be new soon in our channel. So coming back to Jeremy, I also would like to know that we have three moving averages here depicted. The legends are given here on the left. These are uh, green, blue and red lines. Uh, so they will be handy for understanding what's going on with the stock. So actually the stock uh, overall is very nice. After having this uh, dark day of uh, COVID, this for this stock, it was 23rd of March. It started really strong huge wave uptrend that can be seen here and uh, this trend is really strong for the moment it's not broken yet so let's call it trend one it was globally reconfirmed at about 17 of may and then actually it was reconfirmed at the beginning of this weekend and you see these two huge big waves although with some volatility in between of course and there is second big wave with another well, small volatility in between and then you can say that the last big wave is actually ending as a smaller waves. So here at this point, you see a start of a new trend. And this new trend is going like this. It's a slower trend. And let's name it trend two. So this is a slower trend. And this trend was actually started at the beginning of June. Then it was reconfirmed here it was reconfirmed here and it was reconfirmed at the beginning of the week so now the question is and also you need to note here that last two reconfirmations were actually a little bit above the trend it was actually the moving average 20 which works as a strong support and trend driver here it's a green line so uh today the stock ended with a uh, so-called uh, red hammer so the ticker combination uh, candles combination was um and thursday it was white uh, white candle and then we see this uh, red hammer today meaning that actually it's just a correction and just a Friday so uh, probably opening of the Monday will be with some small correction so what could happen here the, the wave can go like this and then go upwards so this could be happening and indeed if we look here it could go a little bit for small correction to trend two to trend one so here trend one will work as a kind of support here and also moving average 20 and then it's still expected the continuation of the growth overall for this one because several parameters except trends also other parameters say so this is rsi if you look at rsi it was for these waves uh, of trend two always bouncing in the middle it's and now indeed it's still in this area so there is still place to go to oversold uh, overbought situation like it was for example when this uh, huge wave was forming the second big wave uh, that started at 18 may and actually in the june beginning of june it was the maximum here also if you look at macd index you can see that indeed when this small wave started uh, beginning of june the second trend the MACD histogram was in the top maximum, then it went to, to negative zone, and then it has these small wavings here. And small wavings on negative zone, especially without piercing towards positive area, is good for MACD, meaning that still trend is upwards and still has a time to go to positive zone and drag the price really high. So we need this main up, upwards wave is not formed yet. So it could be either immediately starting from beginning of next week or with some small correction from the middle of next week. And then trend one and trend two lines are working here as a strong support. Uh, also, it is important to note here that moving averages 20 and 50, actually all moving averages in 200 are positive here with positive uh, speed, but also moving average 20 and uh, 50 showing here positive second derivative, meaning like they go positive and they go positive with acceleration, with positive acceleration, which is important here, which overall makes the stock uh, to be very interesting for next week and actually next couple of weeks for trade, since the major upwards wave is not formed yet and it should be very soon. That was it for JR Aman and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all other videos from us. Thank you.